Hello, IBC Church family and friends, and welcome to this week's edition of the e-announcements for this week's e-news. During this time of Pentecost, we've been celebrating how the Holy Spirit is at work in our lives to make us missionary disciples. We've been looking at this idea, talking about our responsibility to evangelize since the Holy Spirit has empowered us to proclaim the gospel good news of the kingdom. And this past week, what we did was we talked about our missionary responsibility to be disciple makers, to encourage one another in our growth, in our maturity. That's the reason why we talk about making and maturing disciples for the mission of Jesus. And this week, we're focusing on the idea of building disciples. How can you be a disciple and how can you help build disciples? So this week's obedience relates to asking and answering three simple questions for what it means to be a disciple. A disciple is one that's listening to what the Spirit is saying, cooperating with the Spirit's work in your mind and in your heart, and then responding in loving obedience. Very simple and yet very powerful. That's what it means to be a disciple. If you're going to build a disciple, you simply do that in community with others. That means that you get together with at least two other disciples and you ask and answer those questions to one another, supporting and encouraging and challenging and holding each other accountable to what the Spirit is saying, to God's transforming work in your life, and in obedience. It's that simple. If you'll take the time and and put in the effort to cooperate with God's Spirit, then you can be a disciple that's growing to be more like Jesus Christ, and you can also help build disciples of others. Now, in today's e-news, back in the the uh, e-news email, I'm sorry, I'm confused, (laughs) there are some places where you can download some resources. So, for example, these questions are on a card that I've prepared. Just click and download the card. Keep that with you and use that in your own personal life and in your building disciples. Another way to do this is to incorporate that into your regular small group Bible study time. And that's the reason why I've encouraged you to take a look at the Discovery Bible Study. In the e-news, once again, in that email, there's a place for you to watch a video to hear a description of Discovery Bible Study. There's also a place for you to download the Bible Study Guide, as well as some scriptures to use in using the Discovery Bible Study for seekers, those that are still looking to find Jesus, for new believers, those that have just found Jesus and have become believers, and also for disciples, ways that you can use the scripture in a discovery Bible study to help you build disciples using some of the same questions that I've already introduced to you. This is what God has called us to, to make and mature disciples for the mission of Jesus. So let me encourage you. Let me challenge you. Let me support you with some materials and some resources. But it's up to you to cooperate with God's Holy Spirit to put into practice the loving obedience that is following the Spirit in being a disciple and encouraging one another to do the same. If there's some way that I can help you find and follow Jesus, please let me know. Have a great day.